everybody, it's Donna here again, and I'm back with another entry into my, <clears throat> excuse me, wedding gown challenge. And this is entry number 11, and it comes from Pennsylvania, and it comes from Kathy Lynn. And Kathy, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name. Talsevic, maybe? Or Kalsevic? Um, I'm not sure which one of those first letters could be silent, but anyway, let me start with this. I just opened it up. I'm going to tip it because um, the addresses are on the front and we want to keep those private. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, Kathy. Look at all this. <gasps> Oh, Kathy, this is craziness. So much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my word. Well, I have, let's start with the card. We can start with the card. And, oh, it's a pretty card. Very pretty. And it says, oh, great, she gave me her um, her business card also. Oh, she didn't have to do that. It's been really, oh, thank you, Kathy. I know you had some life challenges recently, and I appreciate, um, I appreciate this so much. Um, I'm glad you were able to participate. But let's start. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. Um, we'll start with this one right on top. And just got pretty washi tape here. Oh, these very, very cute. I have never seen these. Look at these. These are great for cards. Can you see these? These are adorable. These are little embellishments. Very pretty. I don't know if you can see all of that. Let me just pop them out real quick. I don't know if I can or not. But I did. I, I have any. I don't know where, when these came out or whatever, but I haven't seen these. But it could be because they could have been out before. But those are very pretty paper flowers. Very vintage-y. Um, got a little bit of the inking around the edges on all of the flowers. Very nice. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, my goodness. I think that's all I ever say is, oh, my goodness. Uh, and these are adorable. These are um, also, they almost look like um, cardboard. The, um, you know, when you tear cardboard apart, I don't know what they call it. But anyway, let's take a quick peek at these. Look at those without the glare. Aren't those pretty? And they're gold. Let me see, there's that. That's a good shot of that one and that one. You can see them all. So nice. Thank you so much. I really like those a lot. I like anything gold and silver, and I even like mixing gold and silver together. Um, I would even do that with my jewelry. Um, and I would even mix rose gold with all the metals together with ju my jewelry. And then she sent uh, a, a nice card full of uh, flat back pearls, all these different sizes. Let me see if you can see that. Sorry for the glare. Oh my goodness, where am I going to put that? I guess I'll put that there. And here... I think Kathy, I, I think you made that. Let me just leave that aside there. Let's take a look at this. This is an envelope 
Look at how pretty that is with the lace. Very pretty little envelope. And I just like, you know, oh, wait a second. It's not just one envelope. It is a bunch that she made. Look at these. Isn't that cute? Let me see how we can open this. <gasps> Look! Oh, isn't that cute for a, a little note? And these are brads that she's used. Oh my gosh. Very nice. We have another one here. Um, in a comp it looks like the same type of paper, complimentary paper, with some, um, it looks like brass brads that she's used. And again, another cutout. That is so creative, honestly. How cute is that? I will definitely use those for sure. We have another one here with some uh, more of a, a gold. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but a gold button there. Very uh, glittery gold brad. Remember when. That is so cute. Oh. What nice cards. And that's a nice sentiment. You know, I, I should probably use one of these to um, send to the nursing home. Look at this one. My mother-in-law, we've been spending a lot of time there lately. Her twin sister um, has Alzheimer's and is um, getting worse. And the nurses have just been so lovely. That one's a pretty one. It's got some pearls, like uh, peach-colored pearl brads. Very pretty. Anyway, this one girl, and I'd seen her a couple of times, and I kept thinking, My, she looks familiar to me. And I thought, I'd, I don't know where she's from or whatever. I, maybe she was, you know, I've seen her in town or, or whatever. And um, we went to say goodbye one day because we were sitting. Um, she's actually in hospice now. And uh, I've been spending a lot of time there. So um, anyway, we went to say goodbye, and she... Um, went to say goodbye and mentioned her name Cheryl and I thought and I looked at her and I said Cheryl and then it was like an epiphany and I said you know you're not Cheryl so-and-so with her last name which was her maiden name anyway long story short I went to high school with this girl and that had to have been I don't know uh, 36 years ago, I think. So anyway, uh, and it was. And she's just been taking wonderful care of her twin. And um, that would be, that would make a wonderful little card to send to her. The remember one. Um, so anyway. Oh, and look at these pretty, very pretty laces. The colors are beautiful. These pastels, they're so pretty. I'm sorry for the crinkling. Let me take one out real quick. Oh. oh, and they're on these cards. How pretty is that? That's a pretty turquoise, a turquoisey blue. I don't know if that's better to see. And this one is a pretty little pink. And this last one is very pretty, and it is, if I can just shadow it a bit, I don't know if that's any better. It's a soft peach. Beautiful color combination. Kathy, thank you so much. Mm. And this hair is just lovely. Oh, it's a box. <gasps> and she used that uh, that texture paint. And look at how she's wrapped it. 
with some eyelash uh, trim, which I will definitely reuse. Um, I don't have any of this color at all with a very cute little tag, a little fairy tag. It's like a little gift box. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I haven't worked with anything like this before. Um, maybe I will if I if I uh, get uh, real uh, gutsy. But look at that. She's got the scrolling on all the edges, the sides of the box. Oh my gosh. I mean, she's made this box, and what a pretty coral color on the inside. And of course, there's something in it, and it is... Oh, oh, fairies! <laughs> How pretty is this? Look at this card. Oh. Now, let me just move some of this so you can really see this. This, I forget the name of it. But I know that this is how these work, because um, I wasn't sure in the beginning, but I've watched some videos, and this is how they are, and I just love this. Oh, it looks like she used some stickles on here, maybe. Beautiful colors. These are so pretty. Love the colors. It is a little fairy card. Down the bottom, you can see it says Cherish. That is awesome that is so pretty you are so talented and there's a little area here to tuck a little note how cute is that I can see the work that's gone into that I only watch this I've never attempted it but I can see you've stressed out the edges of the paper and then ink them a bit I you know, when I made I made a bunch of tags for my daughter's wedding, and um, then I realized how much work went into it. Um, even curled the edges here of, on the top of the card. We've got some sprays of pearls here, some beautiful, it looks like wild orchid craft, um, um, mulberry flowers, pretty little bow, some lace. Very, very pretty. And on the back, created by Kathy Lynn. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Thank you. That is just beautiful. I love it. All right, now I'm moving my thing here. I'm dragging across, so let me push that up a bit. And let me just take that and set that here. I'll put that all together in just a minute. We have another thing. Um, here, another surprise. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Kathy Lynn is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. You do such nice work. Look at these flowers and the different texture. I have to take this out. And fluff it after its long voyage here from Ohio. Oh, so cute. Look at that flower. And the color is just so pretty. It's pink and cream. In the center here, I think it might be a wooden piece. I'm not sure, with a little bit of bling in the middle. And she's got some glitter all over it. And some pink tulle and lace, cream lace. Very pretty. That is, I you know, I, I have lost for words. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow. Let me pop that back in to keep it nice. Mm. Just lovely. And then, oh my gosh, she sent another pretty flower that she's made. Oh, isn't this pretty? With the marabou feathers. If you can see that. So we have pink lace around the edge. 
she has some pretty sprays in here of pearls and just layer upon layer of lace ruffles in here with a rolled satin rose here in the center and a pearl I don't know if that'll focus or not for you there we go isn't that pretty oh it's just beautiful and with the feathers it's just lovely thank you Kathy then it's beautiful just beautiful and pop that back in very gently and it looks like she's also sent me some flowers that she's created and made oh my gosh these are all handmade I can tell by the back look at these little blue and I know what this is like making these because I made them for my daughter's bouquet it's a lot of work. I appreciate that, Kathy Lynn, so much. They're beautiful. Beautiful. These blue ones kind of remind me of like a hydrangea blossom. You know. And it, because they're blue. Beautiful. And then, um, oh, she's done a, a satin, a rolled satin rose. That is just beautiful too. Lovely. That is just lovely. And she's got some small pieces here. And I'll put the three that are similar in my hand together. These are again some satin ribbon rolled roses. Just, just lovely. Beautiful. And the colors are so pretty it's almost like a peachy pink and then she made these smaller ones oh, with the same technique look at those very pretty yep beautiful job and these I have not done leaves and so Look at you, having to make these leaves. Good for you. You're, you, and you do a nice job to tackle those two leaves. Very pretty. Such a soft green, too. Oh, Kathy Lynn, those are beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you've overdone it here, honestly. I know that... Yeah. You've had some challenges over the last few weeks and so I I really appreciate this. Anything that is small would have been just fine, but this is lovely. Okay. We just set that aside to make more room. It looks like we've got another package here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all this yummy stuff. Oh, these are the bird cages, and I don't have any of these, I can tell you that. Um, this is trims and laces. This particular one is all in peaches, peach and white, very pretty. We have another one here in yellows and gray the other one had peach white and gray and this green turquoisey green um, is green white and gray it does have some gray very light gray in it also and a little chevron uh, one there polka dot you have your lace down here not even to mention the um, bird cage and uh, beautiful tassels look at this we've got a peach those are all tassels two four six eight ten tassels and one in pink and they have pretty gold threads that are just um, 
holding them there, and in white. You're way too generous, Kathy Lynn. Thank you so much. Let me just move that up a bit. And honestly, and one last thing here, and I can't even believe this. I am speechless. Kathy Lynn. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I hope you all can see this. This is just beautiful. I'll pop that right in there. So this is a pin cushion. And there is just so much going on with this. Oh my goodness. And we have her signature on the bottom. Oh, Kathy Lynn, this is just beautiful. And the fabric on the top, okay. So what we have here is a beautiful, it's a Marie Antoinette pin cushion. This is so shabby, chic, beautiful. We've got a piece of bling here. It looked like it might have been an earring, one of those chandelier earrings, but it just is so pretty. We've got some mulberry flowers, more of these resin flowers that she's done a little bit of um, maybe gesso on there or a whiter paint. I think it might be gesso. Um, and a bling piece in the center. Let me pull that right up because you guys have to see this up close. And look at that piece. And the Marie Antoinette, honestly, that is just beautiful artwork there. Very pretty. And she's framed her out, added some bling and a little piece of bling on her. We have those resin pieces here again with the mulberry. She's made a couple of sprays with some tulle um, and some little pearls. And this lace is just gorgeous. Look at that. Very antique, vintage looking. She's trimmed it out in like this ruffle, this double ruffle. Put some pink Chinese braid there, some tulle on the top. And this fabric is so pretty and vintagey. Yep, she's even got more of, you know, she's got three, I think, of these. One, two, three, yep, on the back. Marabou feathers on the top. She's got some crochet doilies that she's embellished here with, it looks like stickles or glitter glue and rhinestones and flat back pearls. And then to top it all off, have these beautiful, beautiful stick pins. And these are um, these are just pearls, um, but they're pretty. The colors are so soft. So there's this one with a crystal top. I hope that comes out clear on here. It doesn't look like it's focusing too swell. Here's another one, very pretty. If you can see that, and look at this uh, bead down here on the bottom. So pretty. Let me see. Maybe it'll, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll focus, focus, focus. Well, it's not going to cooperate this camera too well, but I can tell you it is beautiful with the bead caps. Mm, very lovely. We, so I, she sent this with four stick pins. Look at this bead um, and the stick pin here. Isn't that pretty? The pink, all embellished with rhinestones, and these beads are just beautiful. So pretty. And also this one. 
I think you can see that. Isn't that pretty? With a pearl and a, a bead with some bling and more bead, a beaded bead, and then a faceted bead on the bottom like a mirror bead. So, so pretty. Well, this has been quite a surprise, Kathy Lynn. Um, I appreciate it very much. Um, like I said, I I know uh, you've had your own challenges over the past few weeks, and um, I appreciate you taking the time to enter. You certainly have gone way over anything I had ever um, expected. So. Um, anyway I have let's see I have one more entry to go that I received so um, that said I'm going to um, sign off for now and let me just show you that look at that isn't that the prettiest thing honestly so beautiful thank you so much I just love this love it um, Anyway, so I will um, be back soon and uh, with another video. Thanks for watching.